can't believe I'm filming this video. Hi guys. Uh, that was like such a fake hi. Uh, I just feel nervous if I'm being honest, but hi guys. Welcome back to another video on my channel. Um, I wanted to film like a little get ready with me. If you follow um, me on TikTok, you've seen me do these before. And also if you are on this side of TikTok, get ready with me is our big thing because Alex are all. So now we're all doing them. So I figured I'd do one for YouTube. This brings me back to like OG YouTube. I know everybody says that, but here we are. I can't believe I'm filming this video. I feel nervous. I just gotta spit it out because at this point you've seen the title. I just made myself a massive coffee. I got these new cups in the mail yesterday this cup is just a little bit bigger than the ones i already had before and i only have one left which is why i bought these because it's like okay i need a new set with all the moving i've done what a great way to segue i did not plan that if, at all <laughs> did not plan that um but with all the moving i've smashed up or lost these cups i've lost three of them i don't know where they've gone but over the past year they have been gone so i just finally bought myself a new set um, and th these ones came with the lid, so I take them on the go. I wanted to film a get ready with me. I'm going to show you some products I've been using. Um, one of my New Year's goals this past year was to, like, post more, like, sit-downs, like, one a month if I can. I think I missed one in February. I'm using the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. Well, ASMR. <laughs> I feel like we've been knowing and been loving it for a few years now. Sorry if you can hear outside, my neighbors are loud. They have kids, they're very cute, but they're just a little loud sometimes. I always start with this, I don't know why, I just like it. Also, I need to say, I don't really do anything crazy or in depth for my makeup routine. Um, this is more of a way for me just to kind of like chat with you as I do my makeup. This video probably isn't gonna be long. It's one life update. Um, normally I film these in my car, but now that we're like back on the get ready with me like train, that is what I'm doing. We're going in with the Tarte Creaseless Concealer. It's like the old days. So I have used this and I have also used the Shape Tape. Someone please tell me if they're the same thing. Honestly, I have no idea. I thought I was buying the Shape Tape, but then this just says Creaseless Concealer. So I'm assuming this is another thing. I don't know, I get very confused with all the names. And then I'm using this like random beauty blender I got at TJ Maxx, for me being honest. I probably need to replace it. Whatever, we're going in with it. I'm getting ready for work right now. So, let's, let me just get it out there. Let me just say it before we get started on this whole thing. Your girl is moving. I am moving. Again, this will be my third time since the first time. <laughs> so, I left my home in Rhode Island and my boyfriend and I moved to Arizona for the summer to work if you were there last year. Then we moved from Arizona to Florida for work and now we're moving out of Florida. Again, we're moving out of Florida. That is so weird to say, I'm getting chills. Ah! Drum roll, drum roll please. I am moving back to Rhode Island. What? what <laughs> i don't really like girl what i know so i know you don't know a lot of people on the internet who are from the smallest state in the country but here i am me amongst a few others online um i am moving back to rhode island this was not in the plan at all if you were here for my life update in arizona i was like pretty convinced we were staying in florida for the year like, I was fully ready to just live in Florida, and I was happy about it. I was happy about it, I'm not gonna lie. Here I am, giving you an update about me moving again. If you're not new, none of this is gonna sound, like, interesting or new, but for those of you who don't tune into all my videos but are here because I'm like, life update, like, news. I work in hospitality, and so does my boyfriend. He is here in the U.S. on a work visa, so he's not from the U.S. So with his visa, um, it requires him to basically sign a new contract every six months. I'm not gonna talk too much about this because this is like his business and not mine, so I don't really wanna share too much because like I said, not my business. But basically, we travel with the seasons. So we work in hospitality, high-end luxury hotels, clubs like golf clubs, country clubs, yacht clubs, um, and things like that. So that's actually how we met originally anyway, doing that. And I was like just working at a place that 
hired people on work visas because they needed the extra help um, seasonally. So that's what we do. So I kind of just like hopped on and we just did start doing it together. So place in hospitality will hire you seasonally. Usually they'll offer some kind of staff housing, which means you like pay them to provide you for accommodation. You either live by yourself or with housemates or with roommates. Most of the time it's housemates or roommates. You usually don't get a place on your own. Um, and that's how it goes. I obviously am not on a work visa because I'm from the US. Only people who aren't from the US are required to have a work visa. Some people get confused on that. It's just, I know it's a lot, um, but when you are a US citizen, you don't need a work visa to work seasonally. With that, my boyfriend usually has to move around every six months. And you're probably like, well, wasn't this expected? Like, why did you think you'd be staying in Florida for a year? We were under the impression that we were going to be able to, like, re-sign. Because as much as I'm saying he has to, like, sign every six months, some places, if the demand is there and they need employees, they will petition for them to work there another six months basically you can't work somewhere more than a year consecutively so people on work visas will travel seasonally like snowbirds up and down the country because that is where the demand is that's where the need for work is so they travel where the need for work is usually it's not in the same place for a year straight in florida it's busy in the winter because up north it's freezing and then up north is nice in the summer so that's where it's busy and so people leave florida and go up north so that's usually how it goes so we just thought we were gonna be able to like re-sign. Um, not we, him, but like I said, I'm not gonna talk too much about that, but with me being with him, you know, it's my life too, and these are the decisions we make together. Somehow, this all led us back to Rhode Island. Not planned at all, and I have a whole story behind it. Trusting in the universe, trusting divine timing, what I talk about here and there in my videos. Everybody has different beliefs. I fully believe I am on some kind of like, this is this gonna sound woohoo, so please don't like, click out of this video if you're not into this stuff but basically i just personally think that like everything in my life is happening the way it's supposed to um i don't i'm not talking about like any freak accidents or anything like that i'm talking about just like just like the little things like somehow this one thing ends up leading me to the next thing you know um it's like what is that the ripple effect the butterfly effect something like that like any decision i make now in this moment is going to affect the next however many decisions going forward so it's just wild that like this is happening because one, I never ever thought I'd be moving back to Rhode Island. I never wanted to live in Rhode Island growing up. When I was there, I was like, I can't wait to get out of here. Part of me still feels like that, but I'm not going back to my hometown, like where I grew up. I'm actually going to a completely different part of the state. That sounds like really big. It takes like an hour to get from the Connecticut border to the Massachusetts border and you're done basically. So um, this should be very interesting. Um, I am a little nervous if I'm being honest. I know everything is working out how it's supposed to. So let me just like back it up and tell you all the weird coincidences that have led us to this point. We got our own apartment in Florida because we thought we were gonna be here, so we signed our year's contract. So unfortunately, we are gonna have to break the lease um, or something like that. We don't really have all the details sorted out. I'm kind of telling you this like pre in advance. I'm telling you before all the details are sorted, but we have signed our offer letters and we're like on our way. Like papers are done, contracts are signed, like it's happening. So we signed our lease back in October. So we were supposed to have a lease from October to October um, cause that's when we got to Florida. So we've been here about five months already, which is wild. Before I forget to share what I'm using, uh, I'm using the MAC Studio Fix Powder Foundation. This is what it looks like. My cousins got it for me for Christmas. I'm using the shade N3. This angle just changed. My memory card filled up this happens every time i film but mac studio fix this is the shade m3 love this stuff um my cousins got it for me for christmas and then the concealer is 20b light beige using a real techniques brush this is just our like foundation brush i think expert face brush don't think this is the right brush for this so please don't like pay attention to anything I'm doing. I don't know like who designed this product or what the hell they put in it, but this lasted me all day. Like I went on my lunch break at work yesterday and I looked at myself and I was like, it looks like I just applied makeup to my face. I'll have all the products I'm using linked down below if you're curious. But anyway, back to divine timing and what led me to be moving back home. We signed our lease in October and we're gonna have to break it as I have stated already and I'm kind of sad about it, if I'm being honest. I've had some time to process it and like think about how I feel 
and like you know go through the emotions of it a little bit more i wanted to take some time before telling you i wanted to make sure everything was finalized i have a lot of mixed emotions i am very sad if i'm being honest because i don't want to leave florida um i really like florida I love the area I'm in, but I think this is happening for like a reason. I always think that when things in my life happen, you know, um, I do think that I am going exactly where I need to go without realizing I have a lot of hope for this next chapter in my life and like this excitement that I haven't felt about like Rhode Island and being home in so long. Honestly, it's been so long since I felt like excited. I, I had a really hard time this past year. This past year was one of the hardest years of my life and so I'm kind of like feeling excited and I have this hope that I haven't had in a really long time. Trying out a new blush. I've used this once and I put way too much on so we're gonna experiment with it today. Um, this is the Rare Beauty Queen Selena Gomez blush in bliss. She's been like all over my TikTok for you page. Just had to get one of her blushes because I was like, I gotta try it. She started popping up on the for you pages. Everybody was talking about her blushes and like how pigmented they are. And I was like, oh my God, I haven't used a new blush in so long. I need to try it. I have a lot of like hope for what's next. I am nervous. Um, I like never thought I'd be moving back to Rhode Island. Not after like I left like for a while, like right now. Like I've been gone a year at this point with like full intentions of not going back okay i'm just doing one dot because i did two last time and it was like all over my face so i am nervous if i'm being completely honest um i don't really know what it's gonna be like i don't know like what to expect but i do know that i have not been the happiest with what i've been doing for work and i'm not saying that like it's the places I've worked because I don't think it's the places. I think it's just like, okay, I don't know how to apply this stuff, guys. How do I apply this? Should I use my fingers? Like, am I using the wrong beauty blender? This is not going as planned. <laughs> this blush is not going on the way I need it to. Anyway, so I just have not been like fully, fully fulfilled with what I'm doing. It, this is not something I ever plan on doing forever. And I did get a job in this industry still. I got a job doing something similar. It, actually, I'm doing the same exact thing I'm doing now, just like in a different place, which is not setting me up for like full success, I don't think, because I'm kind of like still doing what I'm doing. But I do think that this very weird like turn of events, just like me going, I don't know how to use this. I'm just gonna use my normal blush on top of this and hope for the best. I think it could look good. I just don't know how to blend it right now. And I feel like my head's everywhere now because I'm trying to blend and I'm trying to talk too. So going back to my Milani powder blush. I was under the impression we were going to stay here like for the year. That's what we both thought. That's what everybody in my life thought. Everybody, everybody's been thinking that. That's been the plan. Jill's a Florida girl. Like there she is in Florida. But then we like couldn't re-sign contracts at this job um it, nothing against us personally it's their demand they actually wanted us to stay but um none of it makes sense for us to stay so we're not staying my work hosted an event for the place i'm actually going to but at the time i did not know i was going there and i was working the event there was like hundreds of people there and i just so happened to end up talking to someone and she was like where are you from i was like i'm from rhode island and she's like you know like that place were located in Rhode Island. And I was like, yeah, I know, it's a little weird, isn't it? <laughs> like I did know because we like knew about this place like beforehand because funny enough, my boyfriend knows someone who works there. Um, so we had like heard about this place already, but like it was never on our radar at all. We just knew of the place. So she's talking to her and she's like, you know, where are you working this summer? Cause she knows most of the jobs are seasonal and I said, no idea honestly i'm trying to figure it out right now and she said come with me she brought me over to the like banquet manager um and basically said you need to hire her please get her contact so i'm trying to be very vague so i don't like give too much detail away so i give this lady my information we chat we have little chats and before you know it in my inbox of my email is an offer letter like what are the odds of that please tell me please tell me and then a month before this the gentleman who owned basically the entire town that i grew up in and i was like what the hell is he doing in florida like it's palm beach so i'm not surprised that like 
I'm seeing him, but like, what are the odds of this? And he's like, oh, how are you? Hi. Like, he doesn't remember me, but I was like, if you don't remember me, I used to work at a few of your establishments, actually. And I told him, because he, like, owns the whole town. And he was like, oh my gosh, are you coming back up to Rhode Island to work this summer? This was, like, a month or two before what I, the story I just told you. And I was like, oh, I don't know. Like, not sure. And that was it. And I, honestly, after, now looking back, now that I've had time to, like, experience all these things, looking back, I do think that, I believe that things happen in your day-to-day -day that kind of, like are a preview into your future or like a little hint to what the future is bringing you without you knowing because when i saw this gentleman i was thinking oh my god what's happening like why am i seeing this man and i think honestly that was a little like hint like maybe that i'm not going home but like something that has to do with like rhode island is kind of circling back into my life and it was so weird. So basically, that's kind of how the job thing happened. That's kind of like the weird coincidences. Another weird coincidence, we were at my boyfriend's birthday dinner and we were talking with all of them. They're all here on work visas too. Oh, I forgot to tell you. This is an old wet and wild <laughs> eyelash curler. And this is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Love this stuff. Look at the difference. Hello. So we were just like chatting with them and they were like, hey, um, so all of our visas, they were all going like out west. They're like, all our visas fell through for this summer, but guess who we ended up signing with? It was the same place we we're going this summer. None of us had any idea. None of us had talked about it. We, it was, we all looked at each other. It was like that Spider-Man meme where they're all like looking at each other like, hey, wait a minute. I don't know. All weird, weird, weird coincidences. Like there's just many things that are like lining up without us planning it at all and i just like can't believe it's happening i just feel i feel excited i feel nervous i'm not satisfied with the work i'm doing right now that is no shock i've kind of chatted about it over like the course of the time i've been here and a little bit in arizona not happy with what i'm doing it has nothing to do with where i've worked or the people it's me and just not feeling satisfied like in my work and i feel like i've been pushing off trying new things um, I've been pushing off going new places or trying a new job or a new position or a new anything I've been kind of doing the same thing for a really long time. I'm just stuck And I feel like this next chapter for me. I just have a feeling this is gonna open up like a new Path for me in a way. I'm like trying new jobs out whether I stay at the job like I signed with I which I plan on doing but I just mean like trying new things and I'll be doing it from the comfort of like a place I'm really familiar with, which is Rhode Island, my home state. And I think that's part of the reason why all this is kind of like coming together. This is just a little woohoo stuff that I'm like, oh my God, are the stars aligning? Like what's going on? Um, but I think this is going to be such a cool new opportunity for me and a whole new experience. Where I'm going, I never plan on living here. Um, I never plan on living in this city. I've never planned on it at all. So I guess that's it for this guy ready with me. My makeup's done. I told you my life update. I'm moving to Rhode Island. I got a new job and still in hospitality. Um, but I do think this new chapter is going to bring new things for me. Um, I don't know. I'm excited and nervous. I, we don't have the details all in order yet. I didn't even talk about this yet. Um, of like, how we're transporting our furniture we have yet to sign a lease for an apartment that'll be in some vlogs i think like just trying to figure all that out i think that'll be good to carry you guys through that journey with me instead of just like being like oh life update i got a job in a new apartment and i'm moving like i did that with arizona but this time around i'm excited to kind of like give you updates along the way so that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i never do sit down videos but i love you and i hope you all enjoyed this video i'm so excited excited for this new chapter i'm nervous um but i'll be sharing more about it on youtube on instagram of course um i'll be closer to all my family that is something i didn't even mention because i was too busy talking about the weird coincidences an hour from my mom's side of the family and like two hours from my dad's and my cousins that you saw in my going home vlog and my grandparents and it's crazy i just i think i uh, like all my friends are there like my best friend like I, I it's just so weird like how this is all working out i'm getting chills it's so odd never planned on this I've, I've never like been an adult in rhode island too like i've never gone drinking there never gone to bars there not that that's like the only thing but i'm 22 you know i've never been like an adult in rhode island i've been like an 18 year old <laughs> or like 20 year old but never like a 21 22 year old running around my home state like that should be interesting it feels right it feels weird because this was not planned at all i applied to other jobs i applied to jobs on nantucket 
I applied to jobs on Cape Cod. Like, I knew I kind of wanted to go to that general area. Um, I didn't want to go back out to Arizona. That was like our backup option. We did um, like consider it, but we just decided right now is not the time to go there. And now we're gonna be closer to my family. But I'm excited and I'm nervous and I'm sad. I love this apartment. Like this is my home. You know, I created my first home here, my first apartment, like mine, my apartment. No housemates, no roommates, just me and my boyfriend, obviously. But that's it for this video. I'm gonna end this here before I talk too much, but I love you all. Products are linked down below. Um, and I will see you in the next, probably vlog, I'm assuming, in a few days. Love you all. Bye. <laughs>